May 1st to May 31st is complete of the semen retention challenge of Nights with Ricky. Benefits of semen retention, clarity of mind plus no mental clutter, more energy, increased sex drive, thicker hair, deeper voice, healthier skin and complexion, highly motivated, multi-orgasmic, appreciation for women's outer and inner beauty, better short-term memory, more engaged in conversations, increased confidence, Better dream recollection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. Welcome to another edition of Nights with Ricky. I'm your host, Ricky Reeves. And boy. I'm so happy and proud. 31 day challenge, and I mastered it. All 31 days, no fap, none of that. None of that. No no release, none of that. I did everything I said I was gonna do. I took my daily picture. I got my notes of what I noticed. It was a great challenge. It was a great realization of the potential that is possible. And not only that, it gave me a reminder of why I started doing this in the first place and the importance of doing semen retention. You know, recently I seen something where Lenny Kravitz, legendary rock and roll superstar, he recently had said that he had been nine years celibate. And I was amazed with that. I'm like, man, he, he's on that right track too. Creativity rise with the music made perfect sense with him and i bet you there is several more just like lenny kravis but it was so refreshing to hear especially while doing the challenge that he's on that same kind of mindset that let me know i'm on the right track of what i need to do of keep being successful pretty much on these notes here though these were taken over the 31 days and i told you you write down each thing that you notice on each day so these are the things that I've noticed overall the 31 days. I sense female emotions better. I was sensing someone's thoughts without focusing on them. Waking up without an alarm clock. I, I, I had an alarm clock previously the last two months. I didn't need one at all while I'm on semen retention. My awareness was already there built in. So that's another thing that I did not notice previously until I did this challenge. Getting the right amount of rest does wonders for the retention. Yes, it does. You know, if you're a little sluggish, the retention is going to be sluggish too. But I did notice that if I had a great amount of rest, just like anything else, you're going to do better. One thing I do notice, and I talked about this on my live stream with Nelly Nell, you got to start working out at 21 days. You build that three-week habit up, and you start working out at 21 days. And this month, upcoming in June, like I said, I'm going to do 1,000 push-ups a night. This is a challenge that I really want to, to master. I used to do this years ago because it used to be a workout just for sight. I was always working out all the time. But I took it, took took some years off after, you know, getting burnt out a little. But now I'm ready to get back into the, to my real mean deal workouts, you know. So, but I did notice 21 days of building semen retention, the workouts will be better for sure. Also, seeing the best and the worst in people. I was able to look at someone different every day. And I got to see the best and the worst of them in one conversation usually. Pretty interesting. Also sensing environments, creativity, and custom made your way. So creativity and it's custom made your way. Meaning, whatever creativity that you come up with, it's gonna be custom made to you, or what you wanna do. Your uniqueness and everything. And I really like that part about it. Being able to guess the account of people so pretty much you're being able to guess you know the 
the vibe of people in areas. You know, you can sense, you know, sense the atmosphere, you know, you know, feel the temperature, you know, seeing the inside and outside people you get to see that, too. You also start to appreciate the little things in life, period. You also see the bigger picture, not just your picture, not just your portrait, but you get to see the world's portrait. And I really like that part because a lot of people just see their portrait and then when something happens to their portrait, that's all they had. They didn't have the bigger picture to fall back on. Think about that. Realizing you can only control yourself and you have to adapt to the environment. You have to make sure you are the only one that controls your emotions. You cannot control someone else's emotions. Only thing you can do is respect them, treat them as you want to be treated, and adapt to the environment that they're in. That should take you a long way, but you'll understand that more if you do that statement. And then also just listen to what people say, whether it's good or bad, because you're going to learn something every time when you talk to someone. There is no accidents. There's no coincidences. You're going to learn something from everyone every time you speak to them. And I don't care what no one says. You're going to always learn something new. And you're going to also learn something bad. But it's on to you to decide the knowledge and the wisdom of it to apply it the right way, not only for your life, but others as well. But this challenge, it was really a, a great challenge for me. I really enjoyed doing it. I couldn't believe that I was able to do that for 31 days straight. Now, long is the way and hard. Uh, don't get me wrong, it was hard. I had some rock hard times. Like a rock. I was strong as I can be. I was feeling like this. I was solid like a rock. But I didn't fold. I did not fold and I did not break. I stayed solid. So, what I'm saying is, if you have the right discipline, you can do anything. But with the same retention and this discipline, especially if you're a man, the sky's the limit. And that's real deal how we feel well that's my time about semen retention i'm gonna constantly make videos about semen retention especially if something new comes up uh, make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel i'm almost at that thousand mark i'm enjoying making these videos it's something i like doing i appreciate the feedback i get big shout out to nelly Neil. Nurse Viv, um, Always a Vibe, uh, Joe Joe 3, uh, Moose Hef, Moose on the Move. Big shout out to everybody that's like being supportive of the channel. Uh, you know, Pansy, big shout out to Pansy. Everybody that's been part of the channel, I appreciate all of y'all. And yes, this challenge was like very fun to do. And I'm looking forward to keep keep the momentum going. So, with that being said, Knights of Ricky is out.